Welcome to Zelmar Subscription Box. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of painting and assembling the dining room chairs from your kit. But before we begin, let's ensure you've got your essentials at the ready, wet wipes for easy cleanups, a wipeable tablecloth to safeguard your workspace, a glass of water to keep those brushes fresh, and a trusty hand towel to maintain order. Ready? Let's dive into the world of creativity, remember, keep your brushes clean while painting. First, gather all the following pieces and gently remove them by sliding from the front to the back. Dispose of the frames from which you removed the pieces. You should have four of each of the following parts. I chose purple and cerise paint for the chair, but feel free to unleash your creativity with any of the provided colors. Let your imagination run wild with endless possibilities. For a flawless finish, remember to clean your work surface after each piece you paint, using a wet wipe or cloth. Before you start, fill the paint pots with a little bit of paint, and remember to close them when you are done to prevent the paint from drying out. If they become empty, simply refill them as you go. Try to avoid getting paint into the connection slots, as it may make assembly difficult at the end. If you accidentally get paint in them, use the small brush to remove it, and don't forget to clean the brush afterwards. Paint all the identical pieces. When you encounter parts with a connection point, as shown, avoid painting them as it may make assembling the part more challenging at the end. Paint all the identical pieces. Remember, keep your brushes clean while painting. When you encounter parts with a connection point, as shown, avoid painting them as it may make assembling the part more challenging at the end. Paint all the identical pieces. When painting the back of the chair, switch to the smaller brush. Use a small amount of paint and apply it with short strokes. Paint all the identical pieces. It's time for the second coat. Ensure your pieces are completely dry before applying the second coat. And don't forget to clean your brushes regularly for the best results. Now, let's paint the back of the following pieces. Remember, if you encounter parts with a connection point, avoid painting them to make assembly easier later. Additionally, if you haven't cleaned your brushes, it's a good time to clean them now. It's time for the second coat. Ensure your pieces are completely dry before applying the second coat. And don't forget to clean your brushes regularly for the best results. I've chosen Cerise as my second color, but you can use any color provided in your kit. Now, let's paint the inside of the chair as shown. Paint all the identical pieces.
I also paint the petal shaped pieces with the cerise paint. Paint all the identical pieces. It's time for the second coat. Ensure your pieces are completely dry before applying the second coat. And don't forget to clean your brushes regularly for the best results. After all the pieces are painted and dry, it's time to assemble them. Begin by gluing the petal shape onto the front of the chair, as shown. Allow these pieces to dry before proceeding to the next step. This can take up to one hour. Lay down the pieces as shown. First, apply glue to the seat of the chair as indicated. Then, slide the seat into the back of the chair, ensuring that the glued petal is at the front. Don't forget to clean any excess glue with a wet wipe. Apply glue to the side pieces and insert them as shown. Apply glue to the front piece and insert it as shown. Make sure to clean any excess glue using a wet wipe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on new subscription boxes.